Ministry of Economic Affairs side the bar license the ban uh, if we continue uh, keeping it as ban it's impractical because we cannot uh, uh, every time monitor we cannot do the monitor because we have seen that from uh, when we uh, inspect we have seen even in Timpu alone uh, we we could find more than 200 uh, um, shops uh, selling alcohol hidingly. So whenever we inspect, we catch them. But what extent do we take to them? Because they don't have a license, so I can't cancel the license. The biggest one. Yeah. yeah. So there is it as it is. Uh, they want to do the business, but they don't have the license. Opportunity of business the uh, ever because that is opportunity. That is why they are uh, selling the alcohol like that. Anyway, people In fact, that is much more damaging. Because they also have to sell hidingly, and buyers also they have to uh, drink hidingly. Yes. This there could be adulteration of alcohol also to keep the price yes. competitive, and uh, it could be damaging also because uh, hidingly the sometimes they might be drinking more <laughs> because Adam be and Bendigi it has a practical implications. That is why, if required, bar license the lifting so that time take a bar license ga go be men. Bro, need basis now. If somebody wants to open a restaurant, yes. a restaurant without bar may not go very well because it is a package. So, <coughs> the restaurant that chicken or bar the go very so much bar top new chibe. Mo, this is where the entertainment centers do well. Like even some entertainment centers which have come after the 2010. Basically, they they can 2010 since the bar license was there. Then there was no bar license. So many of these entertainment centers are today operating a bar license which is in somebody's name in hiring all these things and already that is a pressure to them the business bema susa and then being to pandemic many of them is out of business and continue paying this higher the rent pay with the tummy day what they call color genuinely bar license it took me over that's better uh, then other is because people are not getting bar license some are taking advantage they are not running the bar themselves but hiring them mm. And hiring out the other row, who is interested to run, he has to pay the rent as well as the higher charge of the bar. So extra cost may work on you. And advantage, situational advantage, because of situational advantage. Therefore, rightfully row bar run by Nigidi, rightfully bar license, that will not, he doesn't have to pay that extra. And the people who is having bar, if he doesn't want to run a bar, why to keep it? He can cancel it. Yes. He can cancel it. And, and he can obtain when he wants to run one. So any hiring system done this way, maybe junior one. So implementation gidendu for the implementation it will be better also. And also rightfully if somebody wants to run a bar, we should give a permission say no Now mm -hmm. customer gidi bar uh, just because there is a bar, he does he or she may not start drinking, said I mean. Drinkers at uh, as such, might not increase due to uh, due to mm. having a bar license, but at least choice for the consumers to go anywhere they prefer and drink, uh, have a social integration, uh, drink responsibly. This is the thing. the economic affairs, the any practical uh, issues, and many of the bar licenses today are illegal because they are all renewable. Um, the Tugi rules now any licenses that's not renewed for six months gets automatically cancelled. You know, cancelled. Now, for other businesses, they can get back after clearing the penalties, whatever. But bar licenses, since there is a moratorium, we are not able to issue them. So it gets cancelled. Then there could be a lot of uh, issues. Now. Some might you know, play with their licenses and all these things, and there could be so many issues. Now. And when we digi rightfully for renew bema suda ani geta pade to every day we uh, get people uh, re requesting for renewal, which we cannot help, and then their business becomes illegal. So field now we ever implement bema monitoring bema million ta mare do she shuni na and when digi da ani the achchi if we can relax this, then at least rightfully they will have a license. The license len digi be chimna deni the members na le rightfully who wants to do the business must be permitted and so, and so that automatically those who want, don't want to run a bar or who don't require they can cancel it so we have uh, discussed this we have submitted to the government also and government is, uh, is still at a discussion phase they have given to a uh, to uh, to a committee because any 
Hema, there was uh, um, a policy, remember, uh, alcohol harm reduction policy. That policy expired uh, from 2020 December. So after that policy is expired, legally we don't have a document to restrict bar licenses. So that is why we have been pursuing uh, for further instru uh, instructions that what could, could be done. And our proposal is that it should be now it should not be uh, moratorium because policy has expired. But now. Uh, there is a need for the policy also because control side they are more available like tobacco jumbera. So there is a uh, requirement of alcohol reduction policy. So that's why health is and the team, uh, not only health, all the stakeholders, they are working to develop a, a policy. Yes. Government has already approved to go ahead with the policy. So any policy the only may and bending any bar license the they are chika dina chika be digi be policy ki cover be digi be the bar license that chika be now if we have to issue bar license suppose how do we issue? Mm -hmm. What could be new requirements? More SOP is to get a bit more. And then what is best way to issue? At the same time, we want to control excessive consumption of alcohol.